Shooting crash test dummies. Shooting guinea pigs. Shooting test pilots. Whatever you want to call them, this cross-section of Scandinavian shooting society is here to be poked, prodded and observed as they embark on what must be the largest independent product trial in the history of sporting shooting. So you're not going to make up these figures. This is not purely an aim point propaganda exercise. Of course it is. Uh, my my uh, <laughs> vice president of the company told me to do that. No, for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's like to uh, in the pants. It will be warm for a couple of seconds and uh, then you have lost the market. So what we want to have is actually ambassadors. When they have bought our site, they should spread the rumor that this is something good that you actually should use and that it had have helped them. Translated from Swenglish, what Aimpoint Academy's rifle shooting instructor Eric Ars is explaining is what's the point of launching the new micro S1 red dot site and targeting the whole shotgun market when it'll become clear and cold in those pants that it's not for everyone. And this is what this week's testing will deliver, who it is for and what it can help with. We are a really mixed group, so I, I think Aimpoint will, uh, will have a better understanding uh, of the market. Fr from my perspective, it, it is good. I mean, uh, you can so much easier follow, uh, follow the target in the air, so I like it. Most importantly, are you having a good time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go home. <laughs> the teachers are amazing. I mean, they know exactly what's wrong and exactly what to do. To, uh, to improve your shooting and I'm, I'm just amazed how, <laughs> how, how they can correct you and, and they know it. The whole four-day trial is being independently monitored, photographed and filmed. The 40 successful students applied via the Aimpoint Facebook page and are receiving two days of training on the clay ground. The two instructors are taking 10 students at a time. Five will use the Micro S1, five will not. Some people that don't have confidence in the shotgun shooting will have confidence maybe with the aim point side because that's the first time in their life where they will have contact with the clay. Every single hit or miss is recorded for aim point's data analysis. Tomorrow the students will take exactly the same shotgun shooting test they would need to pass for their Swedish hunting licence. This rabbit and this going away bird are both part of it. They're going to find four shots, two from right to left and uh, they have a hit a, a white marker and they had to put eight pellets in that one on two shots and then the rabbit turns so it's going from left to right and the same way and they have to put eight pellets in the next rabbit. The second target is then going away clay. You had six clays, 12 shots and you have to hit four of them. If you go and hunt in Sweden and have a Swedish hunting uh, license, then you have to pass this test. These targets at Mamima Yacht have both been assessed and signed off by the Swedish hunting organisation. The shot cam shows what the shooter will actually see through the S1. It provides a reference point and, from our own experience, the position of the red dot on the Micro S1 ensures your head is in a good position on the stock. Aimpoint is the perfect site for driven hunts and we shoot with the red dot sight in the same way that we are, you are shooting shotgun. We go from behind, we take a focus point on the animal and we go through and we shoot. And we were thinking, why don't we do a shotgun sight? And we made a lot of tests and we come up with a new micro S1 sight for this. It's not something you've taken from a rifle and stuck it on a on a shotgun, this is a completely new product. Yeah, we actually optimized the micro series for the shotguns. So we changed the optical axis, we changed the whole housing. Now actually the mount is integrated into the house and we have uh, interchangeable base plates, carbon fiber reinforced base plates, where we can mount it on nearly every shotgun. That has got a ventilated rib, that is important. Schools that have, have uh, tested it for us, they said this is the tool for us to get people to understand what they should do because when they can say do like this, do like this, do like this, but the person they don't understand it. But when they get the micro S1 on, they actually get the reference and, and they understand what they are telling them and it works really good. 
You might remember Mamimi Yacht from our film last year when Tim visited the facility to see boarhounds being trained. After a hard day's shooting, the students get a chance to see the work being done here. There are plans in place to start training dogs on moose later this year. Day two and the test begins with the rabbit. Every shot is assessed and confirmed by the shooter. Then it's the going away target. I could see the red dot just looking with two eyes and it's like I'm on the right place. It helped me just when I was about to fire. If you have done everything right, just pull the trigger. I felt it like that. By this point, the instructors are feeling a little battle weary. They again are independent but open minded. Olaf has worked and shot in the UK. He knows that it will take a cultural shift for the red dot to be accepted, but admits there are situations where it will help. Now, you are here supposedly as being completely impartial. Can you confirm that this is the case? This is the case. Yeah, that's the case. I have found over the couple of days that I've been here specific targets where I think that it's helpful. Um, I think I've sort of found targets where I think it's more in the way, uh, but I haven't tried it enough on t longer targets to, to be able to, to say for myself. But for, for, for ground game, it's absolutely perfect. Hundreds of shots are taken over the four days by the 40 students, and Aimpoint now has a mountain of data to analyse. They don't see it as revolutionary, but it can certainly help your mount, your muscle memory, it can work as a training aid, and possibly deliver to the die-hard clayhound some crucial extra targets. For more from Aimpoint, visit aimpoint.com.